Today we're going to be talking about vectors. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to educate. Uh, so vectors and scalars, that's our main topic today. What is a vector? So a vector is a physical quantity with both magnitude and direction, okay? So it's a physical quantity, so it means it's a measurement. Quantity has to deal with how many things are there, okay? So quantity has to do with how many things do you have. So if you have a larger quantity, it means you have a larger amount of something. You have many numbers. Maybe you have 100 or 1,000 calculators. The quantities of the calculators is it's 1,000 or 100. So a physical quantity is a sort of a physical measurement, okay, with both magnitude and direction. So in this case, it's a vector. That's, that's how we define a vector. So uh, a vector is a physical quantity with both magnitude and direction, meaning that there is a size. The magnitude is otherwise known as the size, or is otherwise known as the, as the what, what else can I say, size or quantity at the same, uh, at the same time. Yeah, you can say that. So it has to do about the size or how many things or how many of something do we have. That's what we mean by what? By the magnitude. And the direction has to do with where, where, where are you headed to? You are, are you headed to the west, to the south, to the east, to the north, or whatever, 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 to the left or to the right. So, so a vector contains is a physical quantity or a physical measurement or, yeah, basically a physical measurement, measuring something physical uh, with both magnitude, which is the size of that, uh, that thing, and direction, which is where that thing is headed. So a scalar has only magnitude without direction so the magnitude suggests that it is only only the size so any any anything that has got the size only that does not really depend on the magnitude uh that that doesn't depend on the direction i mean so it means it's a scalar so it means it has got only a magnitude or a size on this also a physical quantity or a physical measurement or a oh yeah basically the counting of something so here we go to the examples of a scalar and a vector you can see that here's a scalar which is speed okay why do you say scalar uh, speed is a scalar is because speed does not depend on any direction you can say that a car traveled, traveled 60 kilometers an hour okay this statement doesn't suggest anything about direction so this is only talking about the size of the distance or of the speed which is 60 kilometers an hour this tells us about the magnitude so this is the magnitude of the speed of the car which traveled 60 kilometers an hour so it's it's regarded as, as a scalar because there's no direction it doesn't tell us anything about direction this co this statement is already complete on its own and it's independent on direction and then we've got acceleration as our second example acceleration depends on the direction so acceleration contains the magnitude and uh, and the direction so when a car is accelerating for example uh, so accelerating basically is the rate of change of velocity or the rate of change of speed in general terms so it means that we are looking at how fast did the speed change and in what direction did the speed go so for example you can say that a car accelerated 60 meters per second squared to the west. So acceleration depends on the direction. A car cannot just accelerate randomly. It accelerates to a certain direction. So if you are going to be talking about acceleration, you'll be regarding it as a vector. So here's how you draw a vector. So this is a structure of a vector. You just represent it with an arrow. Okay, it's just a simple structure. Because here you can find the tail, this is called the tail of the vector, and then this is called the head of the vector. So what do the head and tail do? So this tail here indicates the starting point of a vector. This is the starting point of a vector, and then this is what this is the end point of a vector. This is the end point of a vector. And this also shows the direction of a vector. So this tells you where this vector is going. So remember a vector is a physical quantity with both magnitude and direction. So let's do a, a practical example and try to see what you can say. You can say that a car traveled at 50 meters per second uh, 
to the east. So this is no longer speed, it's now called velocity. So velocity and speed, uh, is, uh, they go hand in hand because they are practically measuring the same thing. But then uh, in this case, we're having the magnitude of speed. The magnitude of speed is called the velocity. So the velocity here is 50, k 50 meters per second to the east. Now this is a vector. So velocity is not a vector. Uh, uh, velocity is a vector while speed is a scalar so that is the uh, the difference between the velocity and the speed you can just do another video explaining briefly what differentiates between the velocity and speed so this car traveled 50 meters per second to the east so now they say we should draw a vector for this car's motion so remember motion just talks about the movement of something so motion is movement so motion talks about the movement of something. So if we are going to draw a vector in here, we have to use the scale. So the scale is able is able to shorten something from, it's just able to take something from big to small and fit it in a small space. Okay, if you are able to draw a big house to um, in, in a small piece of paper, you are not going to draw the size of the house exactly as it is, you are going to scale it, you are going to reduce it. So that reduction is the scale. So we're gonna say that our scale will be one is to 10. So this is centimeters. This is meters per second. So this means that when we are going to draw uh, one centimeter on the ruler, we have we would have represented ten meters per second. Uh, yeah, basically the velocity. So if we are going to draw this, we have to draw five centimeters on the ruler. How do you find this? You can just say here now we have 50 kilometers, 50 meters per second as given per the statement, but then you don't know what to draw in the ruler. You just put the x value. So you do a cross multiplication here so that you can find the value. 50 multiplied by 1 is equal to 50 and this is 10x and then you divide by 10 here, you divide by 10 here, therefore your x is equal to 5 centimeters. Therefore here you're going to draw 5 centimeters. So I'm not really going to draw something that is accurate because I don't really have a ruler here, but then if I had a ruler, I would, uh, if you have a ruler, I suggest that you use a ruler to draw this. So if we're going to draw this vector, suppose this is 1 centimeter, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we have represented five centimeters. So this is what? Five centimeters. But then we are not really going to write five centimeters because now we will have to write the magnitude of the, velo of the velocity, which is 50. So we just write as 50 meters per second. So that is how you write it, 50 meters per second. And then this is your tail, this is your starting point. Let's name it point B. And then this is your end point, let's name it point uh, B. Oh, so this is A and B. So you can see that the direction is indicated by the head is going to the east. If we're going to draw a compass and say uh, east, north, west, and south, this is the eastern direction. So it's going to the east or otherwise going to the right. So this is a basic introduction to vectors and scalars. Thank you.